Women have smaller bones than men and they have menopause where you get accelerated amount of bone loss in that early period of menopause. And men have bigger bones and they don't really have a true menopause. We do lose testosterone over a man's lifetime, but it's more gradual compared to menopause when women have dramatic declines in their estrogen levels. What's important to realize is, is that more women with osteopenia actually break bones than women with osteoporosis just because there's so many more people out there with osteopenia. So bone density in and of itself only explains maybe roughly 15 percent of your risk of breaking a bone. There's lots of other things that go into who breaks bones. Your body undergoes this constant process of digging out old bone and filling it in with new bone continuously over your lifetime and it takes roughly about 10 years to go through your whole entire skeleton. All of your bones will be remodeled over that time. And what happens in any disease of the bone is if you break down more bone than you form or if you form more bone than you should, that can lead to problems. In osteoporosis, you break down more bone over time and it weakens them and predisposes it to fracture. So the best way to take good care of your bones would be to make sure you get enough calcium um, in your diet, exercise, a combination of aerobic walking type of exercise where you're bearing your weight, where you're uh, putting weight on your, on your heels, strengthening two to three times per week, and then balance exercise as you get older to that group where you're at risk for falling, and then avoiding things that are bad for your bones like smoking, excessive alcohol use, which we define as more than two drinks a day in a woman. Bones kind of peak out in your, in your around that 30 year of age point, and then you start to decline gradually after that in, in your bone and muscle. So it's part of that natural, unfortunate natural aging process. And so it just tells you that it's a lifelong, you know, uh, at that point you really, the only way to prevent that muscle and bone loss is to really focus on those healthy lifestyle factor, factors. And it's important even for people in their 30s to practice those healthy lifestyle factors, not only for their bones, but for general health.